folks, this video is supposed to be fast and intended to be played multiple times if you need it. Keep that in mind. We're going to go from an atom all the way up to an intermolecular force. This is just one H atom, one H atom. A reminder that H atoms are comprised of, they are made up of protons and electrons. We just draw as the symbol H because that's the fast way of doing it. For a reminder that it's got a positive proton and a negative electron inside of it. Let's have a group of three atoms right here, H, O, and H, three different atoms. What's show their valence electrons? Uh, hydrogen's got one, that's why there's one dot. Oxygen has six. If we were to bond these electrons together, remember that they link up. A bond is two electrons getting shared together. Look, a bond's right here. It's formed. The electronegativities measure the electron pulling. So I've labeled the electronegativities. Notice how hydrogen's got 2.1 for both of them, and oxygen has 3.5. If we were to compare these, we would say, wow, oxygen stronger. 3.5 is bigger than 2.1. The difference is 1.4. That's a polar bond, but that is the previous learning goal. We're not going to worry about that right now. So when we think about which way it's getting pulled, the electrons, because it's talking about how much the electrons are getting pulled, the electrons are getting pulled towards the oxygen, because 3.5 is stronger. So look, what I just did is I replaced the line that was representing the two electrons, and I put back in the two electrons from the bond. And I said, OK, the line doesn't show me where the electrons are. But if I drew the two electrons in, they would be closer to oxygen. They moved closer to oxygen. We no longer had a line. The electrons don't stay right in the middle. The electrons moving causes partial charges to form. Why? Electrons are negatively charged. Electrons are negatively charged. So if the oxygen gets the negative charge closer to it, it forms a partial negative charge. Partial means it's not fully negative. And because the negativeness left the hydrogen, it became partially positively charged. What would happen if there were two H2O molecules? All I did was take this H2O molecule and I had another one here. I labeled where the partial negative charges are and the partial positive charges are. Just like magnets in molecules with electrical partial charges or any type of charge, opposites will attract. So north and south attract, so positive and negative attract, just like the colors we just saw. A positive and a positive, or a north and a north, those would repel each other. A south and a south on a magnet, those also repel each other. Electrons repel each other, protons repel each other, but they are attracted to the opposite charge. So what were to happen? Let's look at these two charges right here. They are opposite. Because they are opposite of each other, there is a attractive force between these two molecules. We define the force between two different molecules as an intermolecular force. This is not a bond. A bond is when two electrons are shared. These two are not sharing any electrons with each other. This is not a share of electrons. This is a partial positive charge seeing a partial negative charge and that is what is causing them to be attracted. If you need to repeat this video, repeat it.